Hello, what comes to your mind when you think about marine biology? Today I'm gonna make a short video talking to you about three things that I didn't know about marine biology before I actually started working as a marine biologist. So here we go. The first one, desk time. One of the things that really attracted me in marine biology back when I was a kid, a teenager and a young adult was the fact that marine biology was not a desk job. And by desk job, I mean a job that requires that you spend a lot of time sitting behind a desk. I couldn't be more wrong. You always imagine marine biology as these like super adventurous profession where you spend the whole time on a ship looking at whales and diving and coral reefs or whatever it is that you imagine in marine biology or at least this is what I imagined. And that's pretty much all I imagined. I didn't really, my, my thought process never went further beyond, oh, marine biology, you dive and you go on ships for a very long time. Cool, that's all you do, basically. Of course not. The truth is that any, if every scientist, marine biologist as well, have to spend a lot of time behind a desk. There's a lot of activities that we have to do that have to do, be done sitting down. Being sitting down, I mean, you can also do it standing up, but that's not the point, I think you get the point. Analyzing data, writing papers, reading papers, reviewing papers, reviewing, I don't know, master thesis work or the work of your colleagues, helping other people, planning, writing research grants, and probably even more things that I just can't remember at this point. All of these things are things that you have to do behind a desk. Of course, there will be some times when you will have to go on the field to the ocean, in the case of a marine biologist, to collect data and samples. Where and for how long you go depends, highly depends on your research topic. However, the time that you spend on the field is probably a very small percentage of the time that you actually spend a desk or even in the lab. Even though this is not what I thought it would be, I have to admit I am really happy that our job is not only field work. I'm really happy to have this mixture of lab, desk and field work. Which brings me to my second point, which is how tough field work actually is. I made a whole video on field work and expeditions, so you can go see that if you want to know more about what I'm talking in detail. Basically, to go on field work, expeditions, whatever you call it, you need time, resources and money. Three things that we usually don't have much of as scientists and marine biologists. So what we do is when we go on field work, we try to maximize all of these three, which means that we have usually a very huge workload for a very short period of time. And we work many times, not always, obviously again, depends on case to case, but usually like crazy. We work like crazy during field work. I still really enjoy it because you have the opportunity to, ha because you move and you, I just like practical work in general and you are at the field and you do all this crazy stuff and you some and you have fun depending on with who you are, but usually you have some fun together, but it's also very exhausting. So it's really nice to not have this all the time and to be able to go for two, two weeks to one month, two months on field work and then come back and have some months of, well, just staying in the office, doing your office stuff, lab stuff, and then maybe again in a couple of months going again on field work. Because it's not the same as being on holidays. It's just, it's not, my friends, it's just not. The third thing that I didn't know about marine biology, how important money is. So this might have been a bit naive of me because, well, we know all money is pretty much important for everything nowadays. But I never thought how much time as a scientist you have to spend thinking about money. I already had to think a little bit about this during my PhD because I had to write a grant to get my, my uh, PhD funded. But uh, this gets worse and worse the further in your career, a career you are and of course how, the more people working for you you have. So there's a very large amount of time allocated to looking for grants and writing research grant proposals, research proposals for applying to grants to get money to fund your research and salary. If you get a permanent position, you don't have to worry about your salary, but until then, you will have this 
two to three years grants that will probably fund your research and your salary, but then your research funding and your salary will be gone. So you will have to start thinking about getting more money again for continuing to, uh, to conduct your research and to get paid. It's just, it's, a, it's just a thing that's always, we are always talking, we need funding, funding, funding. Because you need money for a lot of things while doing research, especially in a field such as marine biology that relies a lot on fieldwork and experimentation. You will need money, obviously, to pay people, you need money to buy supplies, you need money to go traveling, either being for conferences or for fieldwork, pro and probably more things that I, again, I don't just don't come to my mind. Well, I think before we do enter this world of science, have a very romantic notion of what all of this is and I know I did and one and when I entered my idea of what all this is completely changed but it doesn't mean for the worse it just changed but in the end you might up falling in love with science which I did so that's it I know many of you watch my videos because you are interested in becoming marine biologists so please let me know in the comments down below whether any of these things surprise, surprise you if you have ever thought about this, be, this before this video if any of these things had ever crossed your mind so don't forget to like the video if you liked it just down below subscribe if you are interested in seeing more ocean slash science slash marine biology related content you can subscribe just by clicking down below and uh, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!